Hi everyone! This is Dr. Gator Bedovitas and today's video will be relevant still to our ongoing situation right now and it, it has been inspired by so many messages, questions, and texts that I've been getting from patients and friends. So since the lockdown, a lot of us are thinking, oh, this is a great time for our skin, our hair, our nails to take a break. Imagine we don't have to apply makeup, we will have no exposure to the sun and to the elements like smog or pollution. We don't have to blow dry our hair. We don't have to skip meals. And we might even be getting adequate amount of sleep. But why are so many of my friends and patients texting me saying that their skin is worse than ever? Bakit kung nagkakaroon sila ng breakout, ba't naglalabasan ng allergy, ng lalaga sa mga buhok, at kung ano-ano pa? There are three main things that can explain why this is happening to our skin. Unang-una, stress. Pangalawa, change in our environment and our lifestyle. And lastly, changes in our skincare routine. And I will discuss each of them in detail. So let's start with stress. Everyone is familiar with the word stress. Since the outbreak and the lockdown, a lot of us have been experiencing anxiety and stress, including myself. And maraming skin conditions ang either na worsen or trigger ng stress. Kasama na dito ang acne, your eczema, like such as your atopic dermatitis, your psoriasis, and even falling hair. When we are stressed, our body releases hormones that can cause changes in organs, including our skin. For instance, there's increase in cortisol, which can stimulate our sebaceous glands to produce more oil, therefore causing breakouts and acne lesions. So what can we do to manage our stress? Well, one suggestion is to engage in relaxing activities like meditation and yoga. Another suggestion is that you identify the things that um, increase your stress. For example, uh, watching the news or like going through your social media pages and reading negative news. So, ako, personally, I I stopped doing that. Siyempre, in the beginning, super interested din ako to know what's going on. But now, I kind of a lot, maybe one to two hours of reading the news and, you know, reading my social media pages related to what's going on and just knowing the essentials. Second would be changes in our lifestyle and environment. First, under this category is sedentary lifestyle. My daily exercise consists of walking from my condo to my clinic and back. And occasionally, I also go up the stairs to my room. I do that maybe twice a week. But since the lockdown, as in I have no more exercise, zero stairs, zero walking. We all know the benefits of exercise to our cardiovascular system, to our bones. But ano bang connection niya sa skin natin? When you exercise, it actually improves the circulation of our blood in our body. And because of this, yung delivery ng nutrients, ng oxygen to our skin and the flushing out of the waste becomes efficient. Apart from that, when we move about, when we exercise, it actually releases endorphins, which are feel-good and feel-happy hormones. And it is also said that exercise can reduce inflammation and even reduce stress. So I'm not saying that lumabas ka ng condo mo at magtatakbo ka dyan or magjog or mag up and down the stairs ka. There are actually a lot of vlogs, even short video clips online that can teach you what you can do at home, maybe just 10 to 15 minutes of your time to keep your body moving. Next under this category would be unhealthy eating and drinking habits. So sabi nila when you're stressed, it can actually um, lead you to engage in unhealthy habits like snacking, uh, drinking too much coffee, sugar drinks, and alcohol. And ako guilty ako dyan because I take comfort in chips and chocolates when I feel stressed. And studies show that pro-inflammatory food such as those that are high in omega-6, um, uh, some dairy products, simple sugars, can exacerbate existing inflammatory lesions and yung mga may acne or may mga atopic dermatitis, mapapansin nyo na if you're eating unhealthily, medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng paglala ng mga kondisyon na to. 
So I know it's kind of hard. Like ako hindi talaga ako nagluluto. So swerte ko na lang because my husband does. It is helpful to eat all colors during the day. So I know you merit yan ng anak ko. Like oh mama, I eat tomato red. I eat banana yellow. I eat vegetables green. So it, it's kind of good to make your um, plate colorful. And that will help also improve your skin. Third would be the indoor environment. So Maswerte yung mga may bahay dyan and may backyard kasi at least you get exposed to fresh air and some sunlight. But for people like me who live in condos na walang balcony, it's kind of hard to get that fresh air and sunlight that our body needs. Our body needs exposure to natural light, not only to synchronize or fix our body clocks, but also to get our much-needed vitamin D. So vitamin D is not something that our body produces on its own. We actually need exposure to sunlight, specifically UVB, in order for our body to make it. Vitamin D is important in cell growth, renewal, and repair. It also helps boost our immune system. Ngayon, even if you expose yourself by your window in your condo, your window glass blocks UVB. But I don't recommend na you risk your health and go outside just to get your vitamin D. If you can, for those of you who are in condos, um, open your window and sunbathe for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, you expose your face, you can also your legs or your arms so you don't have any pigmentation. And that should be enough to give you the vitamin D that you need. Now, you who are not really out or who are not out like me, um, I've started taking vitamin D supplements. I know that it's kind of controversial, but I take it anyway. Number four is exposure to high-energy visible light, also known as blue light. Many of us, again, including myself, are working from home and we are practically glued to our phones, our laptops, and tablets, either from attending webinars, conference calls, or even just following the news on our social media pages. This exposes us to this HEV, or high energy visible light or blue light. And this has been known to actually go deeper or penetrate our skin deeper than UVA and UVB and to cause pigmentation, aging, and some skin problems. The good news is it's very easy to protect ourselves from HEV or blue light exposure. Just apply your sunscreen every day. Ngayon, marami ng sunscreens in the market that protect us from um, visible light. Makikita nyo naman yun sa label. That's why me, even if I'm indoors, and because I'm always in front of my screen, my laptop, and my phone, I really don't forget to apply my sunscreen. And last, under this category, is wearing masks. So, nung una, sabi nila, ang kailangan lang daw mag-wear ng masks are yung may mga sakit, or nagbabantay sa may sakit, or yung mga frontliners. But the latest recommendations, and for those of you who watched my video on the masks, ang recommendation po ngayon is lahat na po tayo ay magmamask. Now, wearing a mask is very important because it can protect us from the virus. However, it's not very good for our skin, especially if we wear it for a long time. The mask can harbor bacteria and germs that can lead to breakouts and rashes, and some people can actually get irritation and allergies from the material from the mask, while others naman, nagkakaroon sila ng mark, especially kung tight yung sinusuot nilang mask. Therefore, I recommend that you Clean your face every day before and after wearing a mask. And for those na naka N95 or yung very tight masks for like 8 hours a day, I recommend that you double cleanse to remove all the oil, the dirt, and the debris na naiwan sa skin mo. Also, apply a barrier cream before you put on your mask. And lastly, don't reuse your surgical masks that you've been using for a long time kasi nga hindi na to healthy and hindi na rin siya ganun ka-effective. Now we go to the last thing that is probably causing your skin to act up. It is either slacking off on your skincare routine or experimenting on new skincare products that is causing your skin to react. While on lockdown or while on your enhanced community quarantine, a lot of us may actually be tempted to slack off or relax on our skincare routine kasi nga, di naman tayo may makeup, di naman tayo naarawan, we're not exposed to smog or pollution. However, I really advise that at least stick to the essentials of skincare. Don't forget to wash your face because even when you're indoors, you still accumulate dead skin cells, oil, and debris which have to be removed or else they can clog your pores and contribute to breakouts. Do not forget to apply sunscreen. 
Remember I mentioned earlier that your window glass only blocks UVB. So, nakakapasok pa rin yung UVA. And it's the aging ray. And for those of you naman, like me, who are always on their phones, tablets, or laptops, you still need protection from your blue light. On the other hand, there are those naman who want to experiment on a new skincare routine, try out new products, cleansers, and masks. Ngayon, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay lang naman. In fact, this is the right time to perfect your skincare routine. But just be aware that in doing so, there's a possibility na mas ma-irritate mo yung skin mo. So that ends my video on my explanation why our skin is worse than ever and why we are breaking out in spite of just staying indoors. And I hope nalinawan kayo and I hope it helped you. I really want to talk about skincare essentials while on lockdown but I don't want to make this video super long. So if you like this and if you want to know more about that, that's going to be my next video. Please watch out for it. If you like this and if you appreciate, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, I wish everyone safety. I wish that we can get over this soon. So I will see you again next time. Bye!